Hey Leo, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 14th through the 20th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 14th through the 20th, Leo. Okay. We got initiation by water. Somebody in their feelings. That's usually what they mean. Okay. Your spiritual path this lifetime involves becoming a clear channel for spirit. You are meant to communicate with higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds. Your initiation by water will further open your receiving channels, dislodge lower vibrational material, and sensitize you to the subtle realms of life. You are being open to a world of which you may have only dreamed, such as its beauty, grace, and love. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages for guidance do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 14th through the 20th, 2020. This is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? That's for June 14th, June 15th, June 16th, June 17th, June 18th, June 19th, June 20th of 20, 2020. Messages for Leo, Solomon, Rising, and Venus. Knight of Swords. Somebody take an action. Neow. Neow. Somebody is moving toward what makes them happy. Three of Cups here. Um, I feel like there's a celebration. So congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. Don't mind. Don't, don't mind me. You know, I should be doing that. So temperance here, two of wands. Some of you guys, it's time for you to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. Could be needing to balance your mentals and your emotions. Some of you guys, there's an opportunity you could be missing. I don't feel like it's a bad thing, so don't be like, oh, I feel like it's a good opportunity that you're missing. Okay, king of swords here. When a king come out, king come out in the king of swords, that means that some of you guys are cutting away a situation. Chariot here could be dealing with the can't stand energy, cutting away something, finding the motivation to act off of what you desire. It's time. Star, star energy, getting on the right path. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Six of wands underneath here. I do feel for, like for a lot of you guys, you're moving to our victory. Victorious decisions. Victorious This is you too, because you're the king of swords here. Even though I got the, some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign. Um, no doubt. Aquarian energy here. King of swords, star energy here. Temperance here, Sagittarian energy. I feel like it's time for you guys to see the bigger picture. It's time for you to move forward. There's an opportunity that you are missing. Yes. Boo-hoo. Who gives a fuck? Because the opportunity that you're missing is putting you in the space of having victory. So, fuck it. We have temperance here. Why is this temperance here? Could be done with the Sagittarius. Why is this temperance here? World card. It's time to end a cycle. I'm trying to tell you. Told you. It's time to end a cycle. Page of Wands here with the Seven of Swords here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with someone that is deceptive and not showing you their true color. So it's time to walk away. Eight of Cups. Y'all see that? My girl tapped to say, because that's your business. Okay? I love tapping for y'all. <laughs> but it is time to walk away. For a lot of you guys, you've been dealing with a situation where someone was not showing you their true colors. Or you are not true to yourself, having unstable thoughts. And it's time for you to put an end to that cycle. Okay? Two of Wands here. Why is this Two of Wands here? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you are, and it just flipped upright. Okay, so it was in reverse and it flipped up right. So I feel like there's an opportunity here for some of you guys. Again, you turn down something. You turn down an opportunity because you keep thinking about moving towards something else. Ace of Swords here, lovers. You're very clear about your decision. You know what it is that you want. And I feel like you're coming into your own domain. Three of Wands, Four of Cups. You had a lot of patience with a situation that made you very unhappy. That made you feel stuck emotionally. So I feel like now the world is in your hands. You're ready to just kind of take on the world. You're ready to move forward. Knight of Swords, I'm trying to tell you. Four of Cups here. Some of you guys, you know you're unhappy within the situation. You're really, you closing yourself off to this opportunity. For a lot of you guys, you're like, I don't want it. It doesn't make me happy. 
We have Seven of Pentacles here. It's an unsuccessful investment. Seven of Cups here. Woo! So some of you guys are making a like dead ass because sevens represent choices some of you guys are making a choice like dead ass making a choice to put things in motion so you can get away from this unhappy un whatever situation whatever this is is very discontent this very i don't want it some of you guys like fuck it crabs in a bucket king of swords here so let's see why this king of swords is here We got the Five of Wands here with the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys have made a decision that there's too much conflict here. So, too much conflict to either your emotions or some of you guys, King of Swords. You are the King of Swords and there's a person here that is very self-nurturing, maybe even very selfish. You feel like it's a conflict. Some of you guys, you or you could be in a space of changing the situation because you could be in love with somebody else. Anyway, Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, there's definitely some changes that are happening. Some of you guys know that some changes are happening. You're regretting um, that. I feel like there's some regret associated with those changes, but I feel like you're making the most nurturing decision for yourself. You know this is right for you. Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, Two of Wands. You're at a crossroads. Eight of Wands now with the Two and the Six. You're moving forward. Nine of Wands, very swiftly, you're moving toward what you desire. Chariot here. You found your motivation. Could be dealing with the Cancer and the energy, especially with that Queen of Cups that we've seen under there. Why is Knight of Swords here, Sun here, Six of Cups, Emperor. Some of you guys are setting boundaries to a past situation. You're walking away. Some of y'all walking away from Cancer. But you're walking away. King of Cups here, Eight of Pentacles. You're really investing in your own emotions, really in a space of understanding and really taking action based off of what you feel. So some of you guys are extending your energy. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> Some of you guys know what you want and that's what you're moving toward. And whatever this is that you're moving away from, it ain't what you want no more. And that's just the gist of it. You just don't want it anymore. So you're no longer romanticizing the past. You're not living in the past. You're very much in a space of seeing the bigger picture. Star energy here. Why is the star energy here? We have Knight of Wands here. You want to move forward. Four of Wands. You want to, Some of you guys, Four of Wands, Six of Wands. You're laying down a burdensome situation. That's Ten of Wands. I feel like you're embracing the end of a difficult situation. Some of you guys got a clean slate. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it is with someone new. But if it's not with someone new, you just have a clean slate in your life. And you're manifesting higher vibration energy in. So we got Six of Wands here. Why is it Six of Wands? We have Temperance here. Queen of Wands, time to move in a new direction. Magician, yep. Some of you guys have manifested a new beginning here. So it's time to move in a new direction. It's time to move in a new direction. Hey, sweet, sweet. Hey, sweet, sweet. Come here. Say hey. Y'all see ya. Say hey. <laughs> Mommy, know you. Go play. Okay. All right, so let's put that. Let's put these up and let's see what guidance we have. What messages? What guidance do we have? Okay, let's see. Cause I don't like that. What messages? What guidance do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus moving forward? All right. So we have see the other person's point of view. For a lot of you guys, there's some positive changes that have been made. This is in a masculine energy. So someone, I feel like there's a masculine energy that could have made some positive changes. Um, I feel like crystals here, you could be in a space of focusing on making some positive changes. Seeing the other person's point of view does not mean staying with a person. So some of you guys are seeing someone else's point of view. And I do feel like you're making decisions based off of that. Taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys could have a new beginning with someone that could have made some positive changes. But honestly, I feel like the positive changes are within yourself because you're starting to see things from a different perspective or starting to see things from someone else's perspective. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.